United. Here we go. Alaska bound. Stay with us. You know, one of the things with this outfitter is he goes in ahead of you to get the camp ready. So the day before, as you'll see here in a second, the day before we got in, we went, went through all our gear, we shipped it up there. All right, we just got here. We're at Lane's Guide Service in Soldatna, Alaska. We're doing our last pre-flight float plane trip uh, check of our equipment, getting everything ready to go in the morning. We're going to have our rain gear on. Jump on so we brought some, uh, we got a lot of really good optics here, so we're bringing some things to keep our optics clean. Uh, we're using a Swarovski spotting scope. We have a good tripod. We're going to do a lot of time glassing, sitting behind the scope. Uh, we got our Kestrel weather meter. Uh, Shooting night force, both both Brian and I are using night force scopes, NPR one reticles. Uh, we have a G7 range finder, which compensates for incline changes in the barometric pressure. Uh, it it basically has a, a PDA built inside the range finder. Uh, we live at 4,000 feet. We shoot a lot at seven six to seven thousand feet, and today. We are at sea level, so this is going to compensate for all of that. Shooting a 338 edge, shooting a 300 grain SMK bullet should be brown bear medicine. We're ready to go. We're getting packed up. We're excited. The float plane in. We're all jazzed for that. Say Lane's Guide Service. We're on our way out. Brad Dana, Mark Casavan, and myself. Uh, we're heading out. So stay with us, and we'll bring you our adventure. Step by step as it goes. Here we go on another Rolling Bones adventure. I was just telling him I haven't been in a plane since I was uh, on a float plane since I was 18. So it's awesome. Off right now. Mark's off. adventure set up the next few days looks like the weather's gonna be good we're all really looking forward to it we got everything everything but a couple other items we got to get to camp but we're gonna get her all in the camp and we're gonna go back relax and do some glassing and uh, get this adventure kicked off
Sterling Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt. Lane's uh, master chef cooking. <laughs> Smells great, buddy. Yeah, so, Lane, you're a master Alaskan guide. Yes, I've got a, a master guide license. What does that mean? Well, you know, you've been uh, worked as a registered guide uh, for 12 years, and uh, you really can't do anything more than just add credibility to advertising. And to get to, to get a master's license, you also have to be recommended by uh, favorable recommend, uh, recommendations uh, by I believe it was a dozen hunters that would hunt with you again and, and they have to they have to you see that in writing boat just go up a ways and uh, do some glassing so it's a pit glasses and it's a big black bear changing gears my gun goes to mark Shoot him again. He's, He's crawling up out of there. Shoot him again. The bear goes over a rise about 20, 30 yards, disappears. All of a sudden, Lane says, hey, look at the bottom of the avalanche chute. The bear is piled up. All right, here we're, we're here with Lane's guide service. Unbelievable. We've seen 13 uh, brown bears today, guys. Right? Yep. Is that the number? And we thought another... Uh, we thought the 14th brown bear was creeping across the snow. I seen him, and Brian looks in his binos, and he says, it's a great big black bear. So, batter's up. I'm the guy with the black bear tag. They got black bear tags, but I was first on the trigger. They got uh, brown bear tags, so it's my first Alaskan black bear. I'm really excited. Lane says, if you see a black bear here, it's going to be a giant. So, I am pumped. I'm jacked. Uh, 
I shot him, what was the distance? Four, 480 yards. That was awesome, man. I really appreciate it. heck of a shot. Dude, I was, I'm impressed. I was seeing all these, I was seeing all these grizzly bears and uh, I was really uh, not thinking we were gonna see black bears. Mark. But I'm telling you what, I am so excited. Well, quite I'm often, so you know, excited. we don't see the black bears until the last week of the hunt, you know, but, uh, well, you never know for sure. Um, it's proof of it. Dude, that's one of my dreams right there, brother. <laughs>
we're looking at the horizons, looking at the ridge tops, checking everything out, and these elevations are huge. So these bears are coming out of hibernation, and I spotted a giant ruined bear coming over the top. We're on the deck. We've uh, belly crawled, we've gotten into range, we're sitting here. I've got two differing opinions. On my right, I've got Lane. He's like, that bear's gonna get a lot closer. Northeast Wyoming's premier sportsman's destination location. Off the grid sports, when adventure is everything. And Black Iron Guns provide ammo, firearms, and anything else you would need for the outdoor adventure. With the area's largest wildlife display, makes this a premier sportsman's destination location in Sundance, Wyoming. Black Iron Guns. Off the grid sports, when adventure is everything. Lane whispers and goes, I think it's a Boone Crockett bear. So we're sitting there for a couple hours in the dirt, and uh, pretty soon Lane's like, I really want to kill that bear. Can you kill him from here? And now he's in the alders. Not now, I don't have a shot. Okay, he's right off the point of that down, um, straight down from the point where that white little snow spot is on that face rock. Yeah, that's what you've done He's hurting bad. Shoot him again. Shoot it through there. Coming down. He's dead. He's dead. Dead bear. Get in there, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. We've got a nice bear, a real chocolate bear. And uh, we had him at about 400 yards. He was moseying right on in. He was going to give us a point blank 270 yard shot. And so we waited and he ducked up into the alders. Big mistake. So we sat and sat and sat. We're wet. We're getting cold. And we couldn't find him. He was thick in the alders. He's really dark chocolate, really nice looking bear. Big melon. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Brian and I said, What time is it? I go, because that's the that's problem. problem. <laughs> it's 1040. <laughs> it was 1040. And uh, all of a sudden, we saw him coming out way across. And uh, we made the adjustment, squeezed the trigger, and he took a tumble. Our uh, second bear, Lane uh, finished caping and fleshing and salting Mark's bear yesterday. We we were about a mile and a half away, and we spotted a nice-looking bear, and we decided to get a little closer. And uh, this was our surprise bear. This is not the same bear that we were no, intending on, no. but he got our attention. <laughs> I think for obvious reasons. <laughs> He's got a trash can for a melon, and. Uh, we, uh, we waited him out, we got over here, we got in a good spot, and we dumped him, and it was fantastic. Lane has taken really good care of us. This has been a really awesome hunt. We've seen 50 or 60 avalanches, we've seen rock slides. I mean, this is the coolest country. It is so huge and beautiful, and uh, 
these these guys are amazing animals. They, I mean, they live in the toughest, steepest, nastiest, craziest places, and they just go at will wherever they want. It has been fun watching them. We've been spotting them, and this is, I think, our 20th bear yep. in day number two. In day two, so 20 bears. 20 bears. Most of our day today was recovery and and work. You know, I mean, we. Uh, it's been awesome. That's congratulations, it. Brad. <laughs> Thank you, Lane. <laughs> Appreciate welcome. it. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> buddy. Great. I think oh, Lane said there's a mosquito bait. This is their big buddy here. Those bears you cannot even imagine until you've seen one up close. I mean, ten foot bears. These things are huge. Next week, we're staying tuned for part two, and part two is unbelievable. If you like part one, part two is better. Brian, he got the job done. He got, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Um, Brian spotted a great pair, so we got our gear on and we're on our way. What have we been waiting for the last five, six days? It's like a great shooter. We're going. It's really dark. He's significantly bigger than the rest. So here we go. Stay tuned for part two, Sundown Browns, next week. A lot of action coming up. This episode of Rolling Bones TV is brought to you by Wyoming Arms, modern precision in the Old West. Off the grid sports, when adventure is everything. Black Iron Guns, Varmint Hunters, Mountain Khaki, built for the mountain life. Caribou Gear, the outdoor equipment company. Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt. Closed captioning brought to you by The Lodge at Deadwood. We want to help you find your next adventure. Rolling Bones Outfitters was a company founded to help you find your next adventure, no matter what your budget. Go to rollingbones.com and go to the concierge service. It costs you nothing to get hooked up with one of our national accounts representatives that can help you identify and locate your next fishing or hunting adventure. Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the 